Washington, survivors of clergy sexual abuse reacted with outrage after the Catholic Church honored disgraced former Boston Archbishop Bernard Law with the full cardinal's funeral on Thursday. Law was honored with the standard funeral mass of cardinals who live at the Vatican, as he did. The ceremony did not include mention of his role in the Boston Archdiocese sex abuse scandals that spanned decades and triggered a domino effect that saw similar scandals worldwide unmasked. Pope Francis led a short benediction at the service. The Catholic Cardinal, who became a symbol of church child sex abuse, has died. Catalonia's secessionist parties have been given new momentum for their struggle for independence from Spain. A Florida policeman was dragged for almost a kilometer clinging to a car door after he tried to search a vehicle and its driver who was suspected of being under the influence of illicit drugs. The U.S. says it will remember the day it was singled out for attack at the U.N. General Assembly, threatening to cut off financial aid to countries that voted in favor of the withdrawal of recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The resigning U.S. Senator, accused of half a dozen allegations of sexual misconduct, gives his final speech about honesty in public discourse. Speaking to the BBC in November, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reveal details of their upcoming royal wedding and the prince's proposal. Helped into a car with a maroon shawl over her head, Australian accountant Isaac Emmanuel Roberts' mum visited him amid his bolly incarceration on drug charges. HMASAE1 vanished off the Papua New Guinea coast on September 14, 1914, leaving the fate of her 35 Australian and British crew members a mystery till now. The Catholic Cardinal who became a symbol of church child sex abuse, has died. When Law was Archbishop of Boston, he became a central figure in the U.S. Catholic Church sexual abuse scandal. He oversaw the Archdiocese as it moved dozens of abusive priests among parishes without telling police. After resigning in 2002, he moved to Italy to serve as Archpriest at the Papal Basilica of St. Mary Major in 2004. He apologized to abuse survivors, but he never faced criminal charges. Giving Law the same kind of funeral as other cardinals was deeply offensive to some people who wanted to see him held accountable, said N. Hagen Webb, a sexual abuse survivor who lives in Boston. Pope Francis talks a good game, but he never comes through. He talks about caring about survivors, but he really doest, Webb said. He makes these grand announcements and everyone thinks he's progressive, but when it comes to this issue, over and over again he has not lived up to his promises. Callister Gingrich, President Donald Trump's pick for U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See, and her husband, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, attended Thursday's Massachusetts. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. Pope Francis offered final prayers in the ritual.